I know that I haven't made a video in quite a long time, about three or four weeks. As you guys know, I am studying abroad in South America this semester, and I don't leave until February 22nd. So between now and February 22nd, I have nothing to do except for read and make videos. So I promise you guys I will be making more videos during this time frame, but I did go to my local used bookstore and I was very surprised because I found two books that I have been looking for at the used bookstore forever and then when I came home this was in the mail this book outlet I bought four books from book outlet so today I have a double feature I have my unboxing and I have a book haul the mess is us let's do this this actually came really really fast last time I ordered from book outlet it took about two and a half weeks to get here this one only took about a week which really surprised me and I am really excited I promise I won't poke my eye out this time. Ooh. Ah! The first one that I have I'm really excited for. This is the reason why I bought these books from Book Outlet because this book is not on Book Outlet very often and when it was I was like you know what I'm going for it. I'm snatching it up and that was Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins. I'm really excited to start reading this book because the second book, Sweet Peril, is also on Book Outlet now, and that is another book that they don't have very often on Book Outlet. But I really want to read this book because I'm hoping that I really like it. It has gotten such great reviews. The next book I got, I was a while ago actually watching Little Book Owl's channel. And she absolutely raved about this series. And if you guys watch her and are subscribed to her, I highly recommend it. She's absolutely adorable. But you guys know what series I'm talking about. The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. It was on the fiction sale, 25% off. So I only got it for like $3. The next book I saw bargain priced on Books A Million's website. But because I don't have a Books A Million membership, I couldn't get free shipping, and shipping would have made it cost like $7. So when I saw it on Book Outlet, I was like, yeah, I'll go ahead and get it, because it actually sounds pretty good. Partials by Dan Wells. Oh my god. <laughs> Booktube has ruined me, because I bought this book, and I knew exactly what it was about, and now I can't even remember. It's sci-fi. It's dystopian. I think it's got a cool cover. The girl's hair looks blue. That is really cool to me. Why not? And the last book I got was one that I was debating on book, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, got good reviews on Goodreads. So I saw it and I decided to pick it up. It's Shadow and Bone by Lee uh, Bordugo. Hope I said your last name right. This is also set in Russia, just like The Bronze Horseman, but this said it's high fantasy. There's a lot of good stuff. I can't. I can't for the life of me remember what it's about, but I know that it's on my list of books to read, and now I own it. And the next two books I got from my local used bookstore, it's called Half Price Books. If any of you guys live in the RVA area, go ahead and check it out. I had like $30 when I went in there in store credit. Um... And so I actually went in to look and see if they had the Lonely Planet book that I was looking for, for studying abroad in Chile, but they didn't, and I ended up finding these two books, and I was really excited, like really, really excited about the one book, because I've been waiting for them to get this book in for months, and that book would be The Golden Lily by Rochelle Mead. This is the second book of her Bloodlines series, which is going to have six books in it. I already have the first one. I got it from Amazon. I have not read it yet. Before I leave for Chile, I have like a list of uh, series that I want to finish before I start any new series. 
and Vampire Academy is on there because I really want to start Bloodlines. I've heard so many great things, just like all the books that I bought. I've heard so many great things about this book. I was excited to get this. And the last book that I have for my book haul, uh, I actually found after checking out Room by Emma Donahue. So I do know what this book is about. I was not recommended this book directly, but um, Raylene over at Padfoot and Prongs has raved about this book. It was on her list of books that are not as hyped as they should be because they're really good books. And this book is about a little boy and his mom, and they are held in captivity in this room. And it is the only thing that this little boy knows. He doesn't realize that there's actually a world outside of this room. And it's all about that. It actually sounded really good. I wasn't expecting to buy it, but when I saw it at the used bookstore, it was only $2. And I know I'm going to need some books to read like on the plane ride to South America. And I thought this would be a really good one. Alrighty guys, that is it for my book haul slash unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have read any of the books that I have hauled in this video, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you thought about them. Let me know which one I should read first. You guys know the drill. Social media is down in the description. Like the video if you like it. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't like it. You know, maybe I was just a little too crazy. Now that I have gotten everything settled with my study abroad, I will be reading like crazy and I will be making videos. So go ahead and stay tuned for those.